Hello, hello, welcome everybody to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Now in today's video, let's go ahead and talk about all the things that happened this week because there has been a lot. So in case you missed it, iOS 13 beta 2 was released and developers discovered a new odd looking icon of what looks like some type of AirPods. Because I don't know about you, but this doesn't look like any generation AirPods that we have available in today's market. Could these have been the one more thing that uh, that we were expecting Tim Cook to unveiled last month during its keynote? Possibly. Or maybe perhaps Tim Cook knew about these leaks and used this as a marketing tactic to hold it off until the next event for some free press coverage. That is also a possibility. But this leak and rumor definitely does confirm some leaks that we had in the past. One by Minji Kuo himself, who said later on this year, it's expected we're gonna go ahead and see a new pair of AirPods, as well as this leak image, which a lot of people thought was a big hoax. But it's starting to become believable. But it's still unconfirmed if these are actually gonna be called the AirPods 3, or if they're gonna be a new pair of AirPods on their very own, because these to me look like they're more of a athletic Pro built was a more athletic design than the casual AirPods that you could quickly put in and out of your ear. If I want to take a guess, this looks like the AirPod version of maybe the Powerbeats Pro since they have an in-ear design, but they have a shorter stem, which should give it a better, tighter fit so it doesn't fall off as easy. Because from my understanding, I know some people, they can't wear the standard AirPods that we have available right now because their ear canals are slightly larger and the AirPods just fall off. But by the images and the looks, the AirPods Pro, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it that for this video, should help resolve this issue since it's using those in-ear plastic tips. Now the case itself does have a flat bottom which may still support wireless charging, but these are slightly taller maybe they have an increase in battery life. Now, the more I think about these leaks, I'm actually starting to believe it was expected for these AirPods to be unveiled last month because it definitely does seem like the original plan was to unveil these last month during the September keynote, but maybe things didn't go according to plans. Last minute things had to be changed. So it looks like it got pushed back to this October keynote. So that's when the official unveil might take place, which also has been reported during this October keynote. It's expected we're gonna go ahead and see a new iPad Pro with a triple and set up just like the iPhone 11 Pro. And speaking of overusing the name Pro, there's also been a lot of talk that a new 16 inch MacBook Pro, now being a 16 inch larger size MacBook Pro, I wouldn't really be shocked if the price point costs the same as a slightly used Fiat. Or maybe they will throw in another $999 add another dollar, $1,000 stand for the MacBook Pro as an option. So those are also other stuff that's expected for us to see these upcoming weeks. Now, another cool thing that happened during this week, if you happen to own a Series 4 or Series 5 and you're on the latest version of watchOS 6.1, the Gradient watch face got a couple of new unique color options, which actually looked stunningly good. But other than that, what kind of hardware are you looking forward to for these AirPods to have? Me personally, I really want these AirPods, if these are gonna be called the AirPods Pro, to have some kind of noise cancellation or maybe a pass-through feature, kind of like the Galaxy Buds, where it allows you to hear the ambient noise around. It will be really awesome if they could integrate something like that on these newer, sportier AirPods. Let me know down in the comment section what's on your wish list, what you want these next generation AirPods to have. Heart rate monitoring, that's also another good one. An official water resistant rating, that will be also really sweet. Comment down below and let me know what you want. And if you haven't already, if you want to learn some awesome tricks that you probably didn't know existed, check out this video where I go over all the cool tips and trick features that you could do on your AirPods on iOS 13. And then this video over here, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. They think you're gonna like it, are you? I don't know, go ahead and check it out and comment down below and let me know if YouTube was right. But thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.